This is what I eat in a day on bikini prep and I'm just about to head out for a weighted jacket walk. Hello fam and welcome to my channel. My name's Melissa Neal and this channel is all about helping you if you're a woman over 40 or like me over 50 get in great shape and today I'm going to take you through my bikini prep what I eat in a day and today although I've been doing a lot of exercise I'm not doing any strength training and so I do something called carb cycling which means that on my non-strength training days I reduce my carbohydrate intake and that's fantastic for fat burning. I'm just going to give you a little update on where I am with my progress. So I'm still exactly the same weight as last time. I'm 50 56 kilos. I've got a 26 inch waist which was the same as a week ago but I feel like when I look in the mirror I'm starting to make progress and I'll put a picture up here. This is what I look like at the moment so I'm really happy with how I am. I'm nine weeks away from the show now and the training regime has really stepped up. So this is what my training split looks like. I am strength training five times a week, three times a week legs, two times a week upper body. I'm doing three 45 minute walks with a weighted vest. I'm doing one 30 minute jog and then I'm doing two 20 minute jump rope sessions and then I'm doing two kettlebell swing sessions. It is gonna mean it's more demanding. I'm gonna be a little bit more fatigued. So today's what I eat in a day. There isn't much cooking. It's really about putting things on a plate because what I tend to do with most of my food is batch cook it up ahead so that I don't have too much to do and that saves me a great deal of time. First off I did a jump rope session then I went for a 40 minute walk and when I came back I had some rice cakes topped with peanut powder which you mix with water and that's readily available on Amazon. After something to eat I do a circuit training session for 45 minutes. It's important that I refuel my body with food before I do this workout because it's quite tough. I'm in the kitchen now, ready to make breakfast. I just want something really quick and simple because I've had a really long workout this morning. I don't want to be faffing around. So what I'm doing today is I'm just going to have three eggs and they're going to be scrambled. I'm going to have a slice of rye bread, which is great because it's high in protein, which is what I need. And then just on the side for real kind of ease, I'm just having some cherry tomatoes. I'm going to crack the eggs in there. So there you have it, that's my three eggs for breakfast with some rye bread and tomatoes. I'm back in the kitchen for lunch and I'm having some chicken which I've already cooked because I'm trying to make it really easy for myself today. I'm having the chicken with a green salad, some avocado and some olive oil. I've got some lettuce and some spinach that I've chopped up. I've got some avocado chunks and what I do is actually buy these from the freezer and that means I don't have to sort of buy a whole avocado, cut it in half and then waste half of it. So I've just weighed myself out 50 grams into this cup and I'm just going to plate it up. Now I'm going to need to weigh the chicken out. So I want 100 grams of chicken breast. I've already pre-cooked this so it just makes it so easy for myself. I just cook a massive amount of chicken breast and then I've already weighed this out so I'm going to just put my avocado chunks on the top there and for fat, I'm 
we're gonna have some olive oil. Just a teaspoon of olive oil. So that's it, that's my chicken, avocado and green salad topped with olive oil. And you could put a little bit of lemon juice on there to flavour it. So I come back for my afternoon snack. It's going to be yoghurt, 0% fat Greek yoghurt, which I absolutely love. And the reason it's 0% fat is because I want to add some almond butter. So I'm having a teaspoon of almond butter and that's going to give me, because it's nut butter, it's going to give me those good fats that I need at the moment. I'm also having some 70% dark chocolate but what I'm doing is having them in these tiny little chips because I've only got 10 grams which is hardly anything so if I have them in the chocolate chips it's going to taste like a lot more than it actually is. It's important that I weigh this out, I'm having 120 grams I've got some sweetener here, urethritol, and I like putting this on my yoghurt because I don't want to have it without sweetener. I'm going to weigh out my chocolate chips. So you can see that's 10 grams there. It's not very much at all, is it? But it's nice. That's my 0% fat yoghurt, a teaspoon of almond butter and some 70% dark chocolate chips. I'm going to make salmon parcels and this is a great dish. I'm a menopausal woman, oily fish is going to help balance my hormones. So I've got a packet of salmon, that's two pieces of salmon, I'm just going to have one and save the rest for tomorrow. And then I've just chopped up a few vegetables, any of these kind of green vegetables would do. I've got sugar snap peas, got some spring onions, and I've got some broccoli there and they're all going to go into a parcel so it's really easy to cook. I'm going to just put a dash of this coconut milk and this coconut milk's from the refrigerator so it's really low in fat and then a little bit of soy sauce and some ginger paste so it's kind of got those oriental flavours in it. got that wrapped up in some foil and I'm just going to pop it in the oven for about 15 minutes. That's my oriental salmon parcels. Yummy. I'm going to make a quick snack, which is my last meal of the day before I go to bed. It's just a protein shake with a teaspoon of almond butter. So this is the plant protein I use and I like to use a pure almond butter that just only has nuts. It doesn't have palm oil, it doesn't have anything like sugar added. Now I'm making this with water, but you can make it with something like almond milk, any kind of plant milk really. So I'm just going to put a scoop of this chocolate protein powder in there and I'm going to put a teaspoon of this nut butter and the nut butter is going to give me fat. I've got quite a lot of fat in my diet at the moment, which is really important for balancing hormones. And I'm just going to put 
pour that into a glass just to make it a little bit more appetizing. And that's it, it's just a chocolate milkshake really, but it's a protein shake. So I hope you enjoyed that what I eat in a day bikini prep. As you can see, there wasn't much cooking involved. If you like this video, please do give it the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and get the bell notifications so you're notified when my videos first drop. 